Now, we have a lot of ingredients in our comp plan. We're going to hit on a few of the high points. The first is our direct commissions. You go sign someone up to be a monthly member, and we pay you $50. On our annual membership, we pay a $200 direct commission. And on our international membership, we pay a $100 direct commission. We also have a bonus called the Builder's Bonus. This is paid monthly, and it's $100 when you have $400 in monthly membership fee volume from your personally enrolled members. This is important, your personally enrolled members. Now, an annual member counts as $100 12 months in a row. Does that make sense? Because they pay all of it up front. So if you have four annual members, you will be builder bonus qualified for the 12 months from the point that they enroll. If they renew as an annual member, again, that'll be $100 every month for the next year at the point of renewal. So we pay $100 when you've got four active members. Now, our basic comp plan type is called a unilevel. The unilevel comp plan is the most stable compensation plan in the industry. There are a lot of different variations of the unilevel, but all of the granddaddy of the industry companies have unilevels. Avon Corporation was founded in 1886. 1886, and they're still rolling. They did $7 billion last year. Do you know how many companies have come and gone since 1886? And yet Avon is still rolling. Amway started in the 1950s, still rolling. Melaleuca, Herbalife, a lot of these companies, these are the granddaddy companies. Tupperware, they have a unilevel comp plan. Unilevels are stable because they are very simple in the math. There are comp plans we're going to get to in a minute that are designed to make things look sexy, but they're not really that sexy when you peel the onion back. And they are very unstable. They are easily capable of bankrupting a company. And it happens all the time. And that's why they don't last. We wanted a company that would be like Avon, that your grandchildren could be a part of and be like, my granddaddy joined that in 2023. <laughs> now, what does a unilevel mean? At the base of it is this table. And so at every rank you unlock a new level of comp. And you're paid 5% on level one, 5% on level two, and then 4% on levels three through six. So the way this works is simple. If you are a one-star ambassador, you've enrolled one person, you have unlocked the first level. That means that all the volume that comes through that level, you will be paid 5% on that volume. When you reach two-star at $1,000 in volume, you unlock the second level. Now, a level is just simply the tiers in your tree. So let's say I enrolled Donnie. Donnie is my level one. Everybody got that? I'm level zero, if you want to think of it that way. He's level one. When Donnie enrolls Luann, Luann is his level one and my level two. As soon as I am two-star, all of the volume coming in through Luann, I would be compensated on because I will have unlocked that level. Does that make sense? Now, people can enroll people below that, but until they hit the next rank, they are not paid the percentage off of that level. Okay? Everybody got it? Now, this is where we introduce... Two of the elements that are why the experience comp plan is superior to others. And the first is known as compression. Now, what compression means is that if someone were to quit in your organization, so let's just say that I enroll Joe, and Joe is my level one. Joe enrolls Tom, who is my level two, and Tom enrolls Sam, who is my level three. Let's say that Tom, my level two, quits. 
What would happen in many comp plans is the company would recoup that money because that's a dead level in their organization. We do not do that. We take the computer and we compress up Sam and everything below Sam. So Sam now becomes my level two. Does this make sense? Now I want you to start to understand why this could become significant. Let's just say, so everybody's clear, that I enrolled Donnie, and then Donnie enrolls this row. Everybody got it? These are his personals. So that's my level two. And then Donnie quits. That entire row compresses up to me and becomes my level one. Does this make sense? Each one of these people could have their own row, and if one of them quits, that all compresses up to me and becomes part of this level two row for me. Do you see how this could become very powerful? This should motivate you to stay the course because people are going to quit. And when they do, if you're the one who sticks around, that'll actually end up becoming very lucrative. There's sometimes you're gonna be on your knees and I going, Jesus, please make them quit. I mean, they're not really doing anything, and I, I love them, but, you know, let's just go ahead and have them cancel. If you stay the course, it will pay off. Now, the second ingredient that is unique is called roll-up, and this one is very, very lucrative. So I'm going to go back to our levels. If there's a bonus in your organization that would have been paid. Let's say that there's a 4% on level three that should be there. So I'll give you an example. Again, I enroll Donnie. Tell me your name, sir. Dwayne. Dwayne. Who enrolls Dwayne. Now, Dwayne has people in his organization. He's, he's a one star, but he's got three people in his organization, but he doesn't yet have $1,000 in volume. Everybody got that? So he doesn't get paid on this 5% because he's not yet a two-star. Donnie has enrolled Dwayne. Dwayne has several people on his team, but he is not yet a two-star. Everybody got that? Yeah. Now, most companies, what would happen is this 5% is kind of in no man's land. It's not gonna be paid to him because he doesn't qualify yet, right? Most companies would cause this money to come back to them because that is called breakage in the business world. And it's a way that companies can kind of make more, more profit. And frankly, I feel really dumb every time I show you this because I should have just done it that way, okay? <laughs> but I was dumb and I decided to give it to you instead. And here's how, here's how. So he has, he's rolling, but he's not yet a two-star. This 5% that he doesn't qualify for yet, instead of coming to me, it's going to come to Donnie. It's going to roll up to him. Does this make sense? Now, if you think that's lucrative here, wait till you get down here where you've got hundreds of people and not everybody in between is qualified at all these levels. And we just keep rolling up. The computer just looks for the next person qualified and pays them whatever money was down there that no one qualified for yet. Now, I will tell you that we have a lot of leaders in our company, and I look at this pretty regularly. In any given week, no exaggeration, we're paying a lot of people in this room 37 levels deep, 26 levels deep, 27 levels deep because we just keep compressing up all of those bonuses that no one qualified for. We make sure the money stays in the field. Does this make sense? 